In this demo, I'm going to show you how to transfer data from the SQL dedicated pool to the Apache Spark pool in the Azor Synapse Analytics. So let's start by creating a Apache Spark pool. So for that, I'm going to manage and Apache Spark pool, a new Apache Spark pool. Create. I'm going to keep the default configuration and then create. This is my upper spark pool. It will be deployed. So now let's learn about the, using the Azure Active Directory to transfer data and from the uh, Apache Spark pool and a dedicated pool attached within a workspace. You have to create your, from your Azure Synapse Analytics account. If you are using a notebook experience from the Azure uh, Synapse Studio environment, link it to the workspace resource. You don't have to import statement. Import statement are only required when you uh, don't go through the integrated notebook experience. So to import the SQL analytics connector, let's use this syntax. And to use it, let's create from develop a new notebook. In this notebook, I can, I'm going to paste this syntax there is a, a warning because the language is Python. So let's use a Spark and let's attach this notebook to the Apache Spark pool. And then let's run this cell. So to read data from a dedicated SQL pool, you should use the read API. The read API work from external table, for, like you uh, you know, is the managed table. And external table in a dedicated pool. So to read the API using it to use this syntax. A data frame, a Spark read analytics from a external table, from the database name, the schema and the name of the table. So with the syntax, you can read with the API Active Directory, the external SQL pool for is the dedicated pool. So as I said, the DB name is the name of the database. The schema is the schema definition such as a DBU, a specific schema, for example. A table name, the name of the table, you want to read data from. A table type is a specification of the type of the table, which can be have two value. The constant external uh, mana, uh, internal is a managed table in a dedicated pool, and the external is external in a dedicated pool. Like in this, uh, in SSMS, the table I have the external table and the internal table is the definition of the internal table. So try this syntax in the Azure portal. It seems like this is the data frame where I define it here and the database name, the schema name is a constant internal table or external table. 